Matthew. <sighs> okay. Oh, we're finally here. Good fucking Christ. If that woman doesn't do what I tell her, I might just have to cut the middleman and shoot her myself. Yes, of course I'm not serious. I told you, if all else fails, we initiate Plan W. Now, it wouldn't do either of us much good, but I'm pretty damn sure I would get her to follow me at least. Whoa. Uh, okay. You know, I had a feeling you'd still be here, but I didn't think you would still be sitting on the same stool in the same position. Uh, have you actually stopped drinking at all since I left? If the answer is no, then please tell me where the bathroom is in this place so I can avoid it like the plague. Oh man, my legs. Yeah, I think you alone can probably keep this place in business. I mean, hell, you're certainly trying, aren't you? You come around like a bad habit. What's on your mind? Uh, I come around like a bad habit? I've only been here twice before. What does that make you? Granted, you've probably only been here once, technically. You just haven't left yet. Well, I hope you're still sober enough to read the contract, because Crimson Caravan wants to buy your business. Ha! I bet you didn't see that coming when you had your morning whiskey. They want to buy Cassidy Caravans? <sighs> Don't they know it's burned to ash? No. Even times being what they are. Not sure I'm looking to sell. Even for all the whiskey in Reno. Um, you are sober, right? Wait, what the fuck am I talking about? Of course you're not. But still, what the hell? If someone came up to you and offered you a thousand caps for your name, would you take it? Well, you see, it's like... Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I don't want to hear your answer anyway. Point is, I made the caravan what it is. It's mine. Okay, to answer your first question, I don't even remember what my real name was. So fuck yeah, I'll take the thousand caps for a name that's apparently not memorable at all. Secondly, have a look at this first. They're paying full price for this. I didn't mention the whole Ash thing to them. You're welcome, by the way. Alice McLafferty, eh? No, I see the zeros. And I know she's good for them. Still, it's not about the money. Dad'd spin like a twister if he ever heard I sold our name for anything. Ah, I see how it is. You don't want to give up the family legacy, is that it? Well, no offense, but I think your old man would be more concerned by the fact that the name is all that's left of it. And in any case, I did not march all the way from Freeside to take no for an answer. If I like doing that kind of thing for shits and giggles, then I will still be employed at the Mojave Express. Look, I know you came all this way, and that takes some drive. Especially these days. Just doesn't feel right. Trading history for a slip of paper. Oh, you fuck. You just had to play the sentimental card, didn't you? Well, I did have a whole bunch of speeches prepared for other responses, but you just forced me to go straight to Plan W. And that's W for whiskey. And no, I'm not gonna bribe you for your caravan. I'm gonna drink for it. Bam! That's something else you didn't see coming this morning. You challenging me? Serious now. Alright, you come here armed with whiskey. We'll make a sport of it. And none of that radioactive shit. I'm talking whiskey. Not Dixon whiskey. Whiskey. Oh, you don't think I'm serious, do ya? Well, get a load of this! I came prepared, bitch! Fresh from the Atomic Wrangler. They gave me a discount. Yeah, I've got 12 bottles of this shit. Still think I'm kidding? Alright then. I already got a head start, but I'll go first anyway. Well, hurry the fuck up. The sooner I can forget about making this mistake, the better. Okay. <clears throat> I want to know why this stuff tastes like Satan's piss. Actually, scratch that, I don't. And that's why I'm convinced Caesar only has one testicle. You can't prove me wrong. Oh, is it my turn? I'm losing track. And he keeps nagging me. Ah, oh, stop looting this chest. Stop desecrating this corpse. Stop what you're doing and pack more scrap metal. No, 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 fuck you. That's exactly what you do, you little shit. <laughs> Fucking flying! Yeah, if you can believe that. I may have heard them crashing afterwards. I honestly can't remember at this point. <laughs> okay, alright, this bottle's done. <coughs> you know what? You look like shit! I know all you have to do is sign the fucking paper! It's not difficult! I had to kill five bandits on the way here. Five! Do you know how much those bullets cost? Oh my god, why are there more of this shit? Well, guess you're a little tougher than I thought. Still looks like you're feeling it, eh, Slick? Listen! <coughs> <coughs> the only reason... The only reason why I haven't shot you in the head yet is because I don't want to damage the hat. So don't you ever take that off in front of me. 
You know what I'm saying? Ah, now ain't that sweet. You know, you put up a good fight. I'm impressed. <laughs> Thing is, I really just wanted an excuse to drink. What? Should last me for a while. Might just be the whiskey talking, but... Yeah? I think I might feel a whole lot better leaving the caravan business behind me. Makes me a little teary-eyed, but... Yes? Now I've got a bottle to put him in. And? Hand over that paper. I'll put my name to it. <laughs> All right. There you go. Caravan's yours. Feel kind of relieved, actually. Guess I didn't realize how much I was carrying around with just the name. I I'm going to assume you signed that properly, and not with a couple of stick figures and the words, Go fuck yourself. Oh, God. Did you really have to wait until now to make up your mind? You're a bitch. That's all I can say to you. But hey, don't give me that look. You're free. <laughs> free as a coyote in the mating season. Where do you want to go from here? I'm sure there are bars all over the place. No idea. Maybe head back west? Though the idea of heading back there with my tail between my legs isn't appealing. Oh, you just love to complain, don't you? <sighs> You've got money now. Who gives a shit? Besides, that's just one of four directions you can go. Six, if you count the vertical axis. But I, I, I don't think you have the equipment for that. Point is, <coughs> you could go somewhere else. Where? Like Vegas? Shoot and spit enough friends out. East? Get put in one of Caesar's little camps? No thanks. Head back west? I already know the big circle and everyone in it, so now I go back there, ruined. Never really realized how small the Mojave is getting nowadays. Hard to find a place to go that's worthwhile. Oh, 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 are you seriously one of those people who think you can only go in a straight line? Forget traveling in the third dimension, you're still stuck on the first. But <laughs> why am I surprised? This shit you drink is the only map you have. Of course you're just gonna go back and forth. Oh, that's got just the right bite of judgment to it. Stings a little too. Did you hear that from a followers preacher? I bet you could preach all day. Who knows what other little bits of wisdom might spill out. God, I'm gonna throw up. Walking the Mojave with you can't be any worse than here, that's for sure. All right, I'm in. Oh, what, 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 what did you just say? Sure could use a drink. I, I may have blacked out on that last part. Uh, did you mean it's bedtime? Really? Already? Okay. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Woohoo! Uh, yeah. This is gonna be interesting. Uh, <coughs> I'm pretty sure the Wrangler is this way? Uh, no, no, th this way. This, no, 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 this way. Well, somebody forgot to turn on the sun. That's not helpful. I think I'm gonna blame God on this. Yep. For once, I'm pretty sure it's not the NCR's fault. Well, we're gonna need a name for this place. And for the love of God, let's come up with something original. Did you think I would stay and settle down? That's not what I do. You should know that by now. If this is the path you guys want to follow, then fine. But I'm not gonna be a part of it. Not anymore. Oh my fucking God. Everybody's dead. Yeah, that's right. Because I'm gonna kill everyone. Anyone who's ever brewed, poured, or drank whiskey. Oh god, you are definitely in that list. First, I need to crack your head open with a blunt instrument. Oh, this'll do fine. Hey, you! Howdy there, partner. Yeah, that thing of yours, banjo or guitar or whatever, oh, sure looks nice and sturdy. Oh, this old thing? Why, thanks, friend. This here guitar is just about the only thing my daddy left me. Oh. Well, then, I guess you would probably prefer if I didn't whack someone over the head with it. I mean, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't suffer any permanent damage. I can't promise it won't get some blood stains on it, but... 
Ah, fuck it. I'll just use the rock. So how long have you been playing? Just about my whole life. Ever since my daddy left Ma and me and went off to roam the wastes. Wow, you're going for the full heartstring story, aren't you? Well, fuck me and my fucking hangover. I'm not exactly any shape to go anywhere for the time being. So go on then, lay it on me. My story's a long one, friend, and I can't say as it's all that interesting. Oh, believe me, I'm not doing this for your benefit. I just want an excuse to use your sleeping arrangement for a little while longer. Apologies if I threw up on anything here, by the way. At least this piece of cardboard would smell as bad as it looks. Well, I was born in a little town out Montana way. Me and Ma didn't have much, ever since my pa up and left. Well, that's the second time you've told me that. Seems like many mistakes were made during your conception. So he just withdrew his investments while he still could. That he did. Never did know why. Ma always said he was a real mysterious fella, even when he was with her. Like he was a stranger sometimes. Are you sure it wasn't just a one-night fling with some guy she met at a bar? It certainly started to sound like that. Here's a tip. If he didn't have any decent reasons for leaving, then assume it's the former. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. But that don't change the fact that it wasn't right. Hey, you never know. Maybe he had to deliver something really important and got lost along the way. Oh, wait. Never mind that. Well, fuck that guy. At least now you know you should never become someone like him. I suppose there's that. But a man ought to know his own paw. And a woman oughtn't to have to work herself to an early grave to provide for her family. After Ma died, I guess I wanted to find my paw and get some answers from him. Been out here looking ever since. But he ain't an easy man to find. Assuming he's still alive, you're like, what, 30 or so? No offense, but the average life expectancy out here is not much older than that. Besides, people like you who's only got one motivation in life tend not to think too far ahead. What the hell are you gonna do once you find him? Can't say as I really know. Maybe I'll just ask him why. Maybe I'll punch him right in the mouth. Hell, the more I talk about it, the more the whole damn thing sounds like a dumb idea. And you haven't thought about this until now? Well, it's a good thing I found you. This should make up for any vomiting I may or may not have done. Well, it's not too late to settle down, assuming you're not completely broke. Maybe I should. Don't suppose you know any place a fellow with a guitar might find a job, huh? That's not difficult. It just depends on how much shit you're willing to put up with. Frankly, I don't think Vegas is great for a man who wants to go legit. If you happen to be a smooth talker, maybe I can set you up at the Atomic Wrangler. Actually, you know what? You don't want to work there. Ah, uh, well, it was worth a shot. Take it from me, let the NCR and Legion finish fighting, and then make up your mind. Unless you can perform battlefield signals with a guitar, I don't think men with your talents are in high demand right now. So long, friend. Yeah, unless you have painkillers for breakfast, I think we should just leave now. Where the fuck are we? Well, there's Helios 1. Why didn't we stay overnight at Novak, or at the 188 for that matter? It wouldn't have taken that much longer to get there. I was that bad, huh? Well, this is all your fault. I hope you're feeling good about all this, because I'm not feeling much more than pain right now. Well... Oh, god damn it! Look, whatever it is, just spit it out, as long as it's not traces of whiskey. Now that I'm free of the outpost, I was wondering if you'd mind making a detour. Oh, sure, why not? I've already made a massive detour just to get to you. What's wrong with making another one? Son of a bitch. Alright, where do you want to go? I'd like to pay my respects to the end of Cassidy Caravans. Check out the site where they died. Uh, you want to give me a more specific location? I want to know all the details before I reject something. <sighs> Upside of Vegas, here, Tal. Trapped at the Mojave outpost. So I wasn't able to run there when I heard. Been weeks since it was hit. So the site's probably a Cazador nest by now. Okay, one, what the fuck is a Cazador? And two, why do you think I would want to get close and to then one? And then the fight started. Oh, uh, what the hell are you two doing? I've been trying to avoid those things. Once again, you do not appreciate the cost of bullets these days. Just in time for your ass whipping. Look, if you got steam to blow, can you please do it in your own time? Now you've attracted the whole fucking colony. Look, if you're gonna behave like that, then please tell me you're good in a fight. And I'm not talking about a barroom brawl. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, am I still drunk or something? What the hell am I looking at? Okay, you guys saw that, right? That was a fire-breathing ant. Question one, how is that physically possible? And question two, why would you ever try to piss off something like that? Okay, are you trying to steer me around as well? I already have two people doing that, thank you. Except they don't deliberately start fights to get the message across. Besides, you do realize there's probably nothing left to salvage by now, right? <sighs> Only wishful thinking on my part, most likely. At the least, I'd like to pay my respects. I got them into this mess. I owe them that much. 
Wow, first peer pressure and now a sob story. Way to switch between two different extremes. Well, I've given up trying to argue with you people. The sooner we get this over with, the sooner I can get back to where I want to go. Thanks. I appreciate it. Some of the caravan might be ash, but we were expecting raiders and over-inquisitive NCR border guards. There might be something left. If I'm there with you, shouldn't be hard to spot. And I'd prefer to see the bodies with my own eyes. I swear to God, if you suggest we bury them as well, I'm just gonna throw you my shovel and walk away. And one of them had bullets buried with him, but no guns. I swear it's true. It doesn't matter if you believe in the afterlife or not, it makes no sense either way. Oh, wait a minute, I think we've walked past here a while back. Yeah, that's where I got blown up. It's a long story, so just humor me for now, okay? Wow, look at the state of all this. God, there's almost nothing left. Looks like whoever it was, was just in the mood for killing. Most of the cargo's ash, too. Not burn, looks like disintegrated. When I heard the reports, I assumed ash meant burned. So close to the Vegas Wall, too. Don't that beat all. Must have happened during the day, though. They hadn't made a camp. Well, no offense, but that makes the attackers sound like complete amateurs, which doesn't say much about your employees. Why the hell would they try this during the day? I mean, the NCR patrols around here can barely defend themselves, but still. No idea. Maybe catch the sun in their eyes? Maybe they wanted the caravan to come to them, walk into an ambush. We should check the wagon. They may not have got everything. Whatever we find, it's yours. Least I can do for hoofing it all this way with me. Well, if you said that in the first place, I wouldn't have given you so much grief. Seriously, it's that simple. Man, I've seen more of these dust piles recently that I'm comfortable with. Good luck trying to tell who's who around here. I'm putting my money on the fiends, by the way. Those guys are packing some interesting hate, I'll say that much. You know what? What happened in my caravan? Not the first time I've heard about an attack like that. One of our caravans got hit a few months back. And the caravan been burned too, along with the cargo. I wonder if he made the same mistake. And that other caravan got hit with energy weapons too. Well, like I said, if it's been attacked by the fiends, then there's a pretty good chance there will be trace evidence of energy weapons. You don't look all that convinced though, so I can only assume you're gonna try and force me to check it out. Yeah, you ain't hiding shit from me. Yeah, it's a ways though. Hell of a detour. You sure? I like how you're still pretending I have a choice in the matter. Just stop it already, okay? This is getting silly. Let's just get this over with before I change my mind and leave you where you can meet the fiends face to face. Alright then, let's move out. Oh, and for the love of God, don't tell Boom or Veronica about any of this, Eddie. I do not want to encourage those two any further. Yeah, you haven't met those two yet, but suffice to say, if you're not a fan of the NCR or the bra- uh, I mean, people who likes a bit of technology, then you should really either leave right now or wear a bulletproof face shield for the rest of your life. NCR's my country, and I support it. Anyone who says otherwise, I'll feed them my knee. I know which side of the firing line I'm on in the Mojave, just so you know. Oh, fabulous. Now we've got two of you on the team. Let's see now. Bulletproof face shield and a sturdy cup. Yeah, Vicar Rouse is gonna get some pretty unusual orders, that's for sure. I'm not some blind, flag-saluting, do-as-they-will NCR lover. They're family. But let me tell you what family means. You ever had a brother? Some dumbass younger brother, say, who knocked up the pastor's daughter, can't hold a job, and his home away is a jail cell? Uh, nope. But honestly, I think I might fit that description. That's NCR. Their compass is spinning all the time. And you think that's something worth supporting? Hold on a minute. Why the hell would anyone leave ammo out here unguarded? This is gonna be an ambush set up by the fiends, isn't it? I sure hope so. Time to up the body count. Oh. Well, you guys, uh... Hey you guys are a bit too well dressed to be fiends. You best not try any funny business, stranger. One word from me, and Vance will plant you in the ground. Well, one word from me, and you two will get lasered in the face and then knee in the groin. Not necessarily in that order. I wasn't actually planning on looting anything here, by the way, but I might reconsider now thanks to your attitude. Who the fuck do you think you are? I'm Pauline, of Sammy and Pauline, the Wasteland's most dangerous and notorious criminal couple. You'd best not mess with us, or you'll have a bullet hole where your eye used to be. No offense, but I already have two on my forehead, and I'll be damned if I let a pair of nobodies make a third one. We ain't never heard of you either, so the not being impressed is mutual. Come a week or so, though? 
and everyone will have heard of Sammy and Pauline. Just you wait. Oh, I'm sure of that. Just keep talking. I doubt anyone would miss seeing your corpses hanging from the Vegas side. But I'll humor you for five seconds. Depending on whose laws you're talking about, I'm pretty sure the most notorious criminals around here are the Legion. So I'd love to know what you two are planning that would top those guys. Sammy and me got our hands on a powerful weapon not too long ago. Vance's gun. You know Vance? Of Vance and Vicky? That gun's our shot at the big time. We're gonna sneak it in on the strip and rob one of the casinos. Maybe all of them. We'll be known as the greatest gunslingers to ever terrorize the wastelands. Wait a minute, you two stole that gun? I thought that robot was just bullshitting. Well, clearly you guys have your hands on the weapon of mass destruction. By all means, gun down all the robots guarding the gates, then the rest of them inside the strip, and then gun down all the private security each casino employs. That's like chess master level planning right there. Really? You think so? We've only got the one gun and there's two of us. And we've never done anything like this before. We've never been on the strip either, so we don't know how many guards the casinos have. And I kept having these nightmares. What are we thinking? We're gonna get ourselves killed. Look, tell Sammy to give you the gun, all right? Just take it. I don't want it around tempting us to do something stupid. Uh, what's wrong? Getting cold feet? What happened to being the Wasteland's most notorious criminal couple? Yeah, that's what I thought. I won't say no to a new gun, of course. Goodbye. Yeah, you heard that, big man? Time to cough up the goods. What are you doing here, stranger? You looking to start some trouble? Um, your partner and I just had this discussion literally right next to you. Uh, did you come up with the plan, by the way? Because if so, that explains everything. But anyway, for those of you who just blanked out for the last three minutes, the plan is off, okay? She's giving me the gun. Really? Oh, thank God. I love that woman, but I swear this time she was going to get us killed. The gun's in the safe. The combination's 5, 23... 34. Take it far away from here before she changes her mind. Oh, you bet. I'm not coming back within a mile of you two. And rest assured, I'll be putting that thing to better use than you two ever would. Okay, 5, 23, 34. There we go. Wow, you guys don't have a lot of money in here. Big fucking surprise. So, this is the fabled gun of Vicky and fans. Well, it's certainly in mint condition, give or take, and it's never been fired. Well, I think if you guys did go through with your plan, it would still end up as never fired. The NCR took back Nelson. Maybe they can win this war after all. Uh, we're not looking for your input, thank you. And please, rethink your lives. Well, that was an interesting experience. Who would have thought a pair of criminals would be NCR supporters? Ironic, considering if the NCR does take over Vegas, they would be going after those two next. And let's be honest here, we both know annexing Vegas is exactly what the NCR wanted to do right from the start. They try to put their stake in everything they see. Nobody's dicks that long. Not even Long Dick Johnson, and he had a fucking long dick. Thus the name. And we're speaking from experience here, aren't we? Well, at least you're not quite as a lost cause as Boo. You two should talk sometime. I've given up trying to get through to him. But anyway, are you sure you know where we're going? I feel like we're crossing the border into God knows where right about now. Any minute we're gonna get jumped by tribals for entering their turf. I sure hope you won't miss your scalp. What are the chances that's what happened to that caravan we're trying to find? If we get spears thrown at us, then I'm just gonna turn around and leave. I had enough of that shit from legionaries, thank you. Of course, the fact that I still have a splitting headache from all that whiskey doesn't help at all. I'm just gonna go ahead and say this right now, that shit's gonna come around and bite you in the neck in the not-too-distant future. Wow, who the hell are they trying to advertise to out here? I'm pretty sure the tribals don't know what they're selling, let alone have enough money for it. And everybody's dead. Can we go now? More energy weapons hit this caravan. Place has been picked clean. This is brotherhood level murder here. But they don't do things like that. This was done with a purpose. Let's poke around a bit, see what we can find. Might be something in the wreckage. Uh, you really don't want to use that kind of metaphor around Veronica. Trust me, she wouldn't take that too well. So, unless you're seriously fascinated by the business end of a face masher, just choose your words carefully, okay? Oh look, a drug dispenser. Yoink. What's that? Looks like a map. Got the route along the west of Vegas, and they've marked another spot. Over here along this stretch. That's fucked up. Middle of nowhere. Oh, for the love of God, how many more of these places are you gonna drag me to? Are we gonna end up crossing the border into NCR territory? We are, aren't we? God damn it. Having said that, I think I know where this is. Yeah, I've actually seen that particular camp. I was wondering what the hell happened there. Yeah. Something's wrong. I can feel it. It's not any closer than the first. So if you'd rather let be, 
let me know. No, no, no. Let's just get going while I'm still vaguely curious about what's going on. But I swear, if this isn't the last one... All right, then. Let's move out. In any case, I don't want to have three people simultaneously exerting peer pressure. There's a good chance they'll mutually cause constructive interference and destroy the whole universe. It's a thing, okay?